Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Living Heaven on Earth. I'm so excited for today's show. Uh, for many, many reasons, and right now I'm I'm like so emotional that I I I'm going. I hope I can do this without crying because the amazing <laughs> energy that I'm feeling is just absolutely magical. So I'm in Kauai, and I've been here now for the last uh, three weeks. It's almost been three weeks, and the first I think day and a half after I got here, Kauai experienced uh, a major major flood. Changed everything. Changed the island. Changed the people. Changed changed everything. And there's still so much uh, support that is being um, gathered and rallied in to support so many of the structures that have been changed forever. Um, many of us uh, were called here at this particular time to assist with the balancing and the harmonizing of this sacred land, of this environment. And at first, when I when I got the call to come to Kauai, I certainly didn't know it was for a flood. I certainly didn't know that that was going to be one of the main things that, that was going to be happening here. Because when we're living a surrendered life, when we're truly living heaven on earth, when we're truly living being guided by spirit when we listen to that call when we're completely spontaneous in in when we're when we're getting that call we we show up and a lot of times we really don't know what it is we're showing up to we think it's one thing you know i thought it was a milestone for me to come to Kauai and uh, set up my retreats for september and all of this but there's so many other magical things that have happened including the flood because it really has restored, is restoring community and bringing people together and harmonizing the envir- environment and balancing things out. So it's, it's just been an incredible time for me personally. I've been so moved by witnessing the miraculous sun returning to the land and how joyful everyone is that the sun has come back. And the land is just absolutely incredible. The people are absolutely, they're, they're just amazing. The, the locals that live here in Kauai, they, they love this land. And my guest today that I cannot wait to introduce you to, she is uh, an absolute owner. She's an ambassador of Kauai. And I have had the pleasure of experiencing her magic and her joy uh, firsthand, I've been able to, she's a retreat leader, and I've been able to stay at her Dolphin Touch Wellness Center, which we're going to introduce you to. She's, she's a mother, she's a wife, she's an activist. She's got so many incredible talents, this woman, and what she has created here on this island is uh, phenomenal. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal to see one person that is living so much passion, so much joy, sharing her gifts, the gifts that she is here to share with all of us um, so freely and so joyously. Her passion is the dolphins, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the Lumerian energy, why that's so important, the living in the fifth and the seventh dimension, and what that even is and what that is all about. And so I want to introduce you to my guest, my very special soul sister, Jeannie Russell. Welcome to the show, Jeannie. Thank you, Cornelia. I'm so, so happy to be here. And um, aloha from Kauai. Aloha. With the dolphins with me. Yes, <laughs> yes, you've got the dolphins with you. Well, you are uh, the dolphin energy. The dolphins, they, they speak through you. 
And so I'm, I'm excited to, to let our listeners know a little bit more about that as we go into the show. But first, I want to uh, share a little bit more about your background and your life before you even came to Kauai, because you grew up in uh, New Jersey. And you've uh, always- New York, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Uh, East Coast, definitely East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Been to Jersey many times, but actually grew up, grew up in Brooklyn. I'm you a grew Brooklyn up in- girl. You're a Brooklyn girl, and you've had many. You've had a strong connection to dolphins all your life because you grew yes. up. Uh, and your first exposure to the dolphins came at the Aqua Theater at the New York Aquarium, and you were fascinated by them as you got older. And you're watching the Flipper Show on television, and yes. you, it, it, this this just <laughs> intrigues you even more. And in junior oh, oh, yeah. school, school you wrote an in-depth report on the dolphins and you were fascinated to learn that their brain size was proportionately comparable to humans and that's what started your journey to learning about these fascinating creatures because of your strong connection to the cetacean world Jeannie felt the need to be closer to them So when it came time for Jeannie and her husband, David, to settle down, it was clear that being near the ocean, especially near the dolphins, was of of primal importance when deciding to choose a place to live, right? Absolutely, yeah. Not surprising that when, when, when David and you arrived in Hawaii for your honeymoon, you both said that this is where we want to live. And four years later, with young babies, you landed in Kauai with the intention of making it home. You raised a family, making a living, exploring nature, and you became focused on focusing your life here, settling into Kauai. You got a small private school, an island school, and you started teaching mathematics. Everything from basic math to sixth graders to high school calculus. Over time, you started to learn about energy work, and you became curious about how it works. You, you got training in uh, becoming an intuitive Reiki master, and you started offering sessions and classes in your home. One day, your husband was in terrible nerve pain from all of his injuries in all four of his ex- extremities, and you would do your energy work on your husband to ease the suffering. One night, while working in your basement, uh, you saw the dolphins, the etheric dolphins, appear in the healing room. They were swimming around the room, under the table, and more were looking in the window and the doorway. The energy was overwhelmingly loving, loving, and silent tears started to flow from your cheeks. After the session was complete, your husband sprang from the table and he said, what did you do? You, he said, I feel great. It w- and you said it was the dolphins that were, that were working through me and laying as I was laying my hands on you. They just showed up. And ever since that time, the dolphins assisted you in your healing practice. You received your real estate license with your intention of finding and, and organizing a spiritual healing properties in Kauai. In 2009, you felt inspired to open Dolphin Touch Wellness Center. That is now a healing center for many that come from around the world. A center that's devoted to the energy and vibration of the dolphins to help others connect to the dolphin vibration of love and light. And help raise the consciousness of humanity on the planet. And since 2009... Many, many healers, teachers, oracles, and speakers, intuitive healers have been at your center. They've taught and offered sessions, received services, and more. And Gina, you teach classes there. You do breath work, intuitive readings. You do marketing. And you even teach people how to start their own retreat healing practice. And most recently, this is super, super exciting, you started a healing modality called dolphin energetics. And this modality involves working with the dolphin energy to clear blockages physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And so here you are today, Jeannie, sharing with us your amazing life 
and your amazing love affair that you have with the dolphins. And I just can't wait to have this in-depth conversation with you about this magic and this joy of the dolphins. So wow. when you're, you're going to make me cry, I'm like, who is that person? Wow, that person's... <laughs> who is this You're going to make me cry. Just you reading that is making me cry. I'm like, oh my God, I could totally go back to that time when the dolphins were swimming all around the room and, you know, tears flowing and, and I... I yeah, it just it, it's amazing how much I still feel the emotion of that yeah. all these years later and still feel the um, the love and the joy, the unconditional love that the dolphins bring and and the joy and the peace. And yeah, I'm right there. I'm right back there in that room. Just you reading that. Thanks for yeah. sharing. Yeah, I really wanted to give, um, I really wanted to give, highlight your um, amazing, incredible journey, because a lot of times, you know, we do so many things. We're so multi-talented, we're so multi-dimensional, and we do so many things that it's just like another thing in the past, but uh, we are shifting um, and creating a new paradigm, and in this new paradigm, everything is about being um, honored and sacred, and your journey is so incredible of all the wonderful things that you have created, you and your husband have created here in Kauai. I mean, that was, a, 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 you know, a big courageous move to move here in Kauai when you did and trust that guidance that you received to come here and live the life of your dreams and make Kauai your home. Yeah, it, it was a huge uh, leap of faith. Um, scared my parents after death, you know, like, where the hell are you going? I couldn't be farther away from New York and still be in the United States. Right. <laughs> and yeah, we just um, flew out here. My daughter was three. My son was a year and a half still sucking a bottle. And uh, we just said, well, you know, we're going to go for it. Either we make it or we'll pack our bags and go back home. And, you know, 23 years later, we're still here. So must be doing something right to Keep us and here 20, on this island. Yeah, and 23, year, 23 years later, and you two have completely um, taken over this island with your love and with your joy. And even your children, I got, got the opportunity to meet your wonderful mm -hmm. daughter. And I know that your son has got a big influence on YouTube. Do do you want to do you want to give that that shout to what your what your son is doing? <laughs> Uh, he's, yeah, he's he's sharing his art. I mean, he's an amazing artist, and I'm so yeah. glad that he has uh, embraced his art. And uh, now he's he's does this sculpture on YouTube, and people get to watch as he's sculpturing. He he does it really fast, um, or what is it, time lapsed or whatever it is. Uh, and he's enjoying that and having a great time sharing his art. Um, yeah, and do you want to give us the name of the YouTube? Is your I'll have to. <laughs> have to you'll have to. Um, well, yeah, I don't, he, it's not under his name, so I'll look up what he calls himself. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, and your husband, he um, he is an oral surgeon here in Kauai. Yes. Slash. Yes. Uh, absolute 100% supporter of you and your your dolphin energetic yes. and everything that you're doing dolphin wise with your retreat center with your ceremony work that you're doing around the island and your sacred yes. activism because that's what you two are you're activists here on this land and you've raised two beautiful children and what a great place to raise your children here in in Kauai that's one of the things that I'm I'm noticing about the people that I meet is the people that have been born and raised here that have been here for a long time, how much they absolutely love and adore this land. Yeah. You know, that's, that's something that I'm going to be taking with me back when I go back home, which is in about uh, uh, 10 days from now, uh, 12 days from now, I'm going to be taking that sacredness back home with me because it's something that is, we all need to embody is, we, 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 where, wherever we live it is sacred, but Kauai has that energy. It has that absolute energy. And I, I feel that that's why I was brought here 
to assist with this balancing and bringing back the sacred. Would you would you agree with the local? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the sacred energy, well, it, I, I, instead of like um, the, the divine energy that we both embody, the divine masculine and feminine energy is um, what we're, yeah, going back to, and that's what we call going back to Lemuria, remembering Lemuria. And that was an ancient civilization that existed here on this island. And that's a, that's a, if if you don't know it, you can Google it or we can talk about it on another time, but it's, it's, it's the energy that um, has been here. It's an old way of living, but a, a way that is familiar to us somewhere in the back of our minds of how we lived in harmony and peace and cooperation, um, not in a place of competition, not in a place of a lack, but it definitely, like what you talk about also in a place of abundance and a place of joy, of um, um, co-creation and um, harmony. That And I believe that's where we're going to. And when people come to this island, they talk about the aloha spirit which is so beautiful way of expressing it, but basically that's it. It's coming into that love. Aloha is really, to me, means love and coming back to love and seeing the love in the other person that you're talking to and connecting with and seeing the love in everyone and sharing that love with one another. Yeah. To me, that's where we're going back, yeah. So how long do you think that uh, the Lumerian energy, so uh, how long, how many thousands of years ago was when Lumeria was, here oh they you know it could be 30 40 thousand years ago i mean we're, we're talking a long time ago this is before yeah. recorded history and um you know the island itself uh was um a mountain actually Kauai is one of the largest mountains mm-hmm. on the planet except that only the tip of the mountain is exposed the rest is underwater and in the time time in Lemuria the water had receded and the mountain was fully exposed so um, we're talking a long time ago (laughs) yeah but it's um, there's the energy and the ancient wisdom and the knowledge Um, it's same thing if you heard of Telos that they had you know Mount Shasta and you know all these sacred sites have connected with that energy and that vibration yeah and that's we're getting back to it. So we we've gone over to the masculine, and um, we came into the masculine energy, and the that's the competition and the 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 creation of um, not you know that that not that masculine is bad. We're just coming. So we went, we had gone feminine, we've gone masculine. Now we're coming into balance of masculine and feminine energies. And it's a beautiful thing that we're embracing both energies together and uh, uniting both of that to move forward com- coming from that heart place. And we're just talking about getting back to the heart. And to me, the dolphins represent that heart energy, that joy, that, that you know, it's hard to think of a dolphin and not have a smile on your face. It, yeah. it just naturally takes you there automatically. I was thinking about that this morning because I was thinking about uh, who doesn't love dolphins, right? How can you not, like, is there anyone on the planet that doesn't love a dolphin, that doesn't love the energy of a dolphin? Because like, just just um, yeah. seeing the vision in my in my mind's eye about the dolphin energy, uh, who doesn't who doesn't love the dolphins? And so I remember um, it was a week ago, we were, you and I uh, and a group of us, we you, you led us on a ceremony to Mahalapu and... Um, we uh, we walked the labyrinth over the, there, and we did some forgiveness work. And you're big on ceremonies. You do ceremonies yes. all over the island, which is yes. you know, which again, I, makes, I've done it, it many lifetimes. Ceremonies, done, yeah. water ceremonies, yeah, lot of, lot of, yeah. You're a mermaid. You're a ceremony queen. You are. <laughs> Um, you are so many things and, you know, just being in your energy, even, you know, being at the dolphin touch center, I, I, I had the privilege of being able to stay there, uh, for six days. And that was an incredible time and really feeling the dolphins there and really feeling that healing center. So I want to be able to tell people where to go to your website, www.dolphintouch.org. 
and uh, check out your incredible website that has so much information on it. I mean, it's yeah. loaded with all kinds of great things. And if you sign up for Jeannie's newsletter, you're also going to get the top 10 reasons to come to Kauai. And that's that that was fascinating itself to read to read those reasons. So make sure you <laughs> sign up and stay in the loop because this woman, she's doing phenomenal things. She's already done phenomenal things, but it's going to be it's going to be even more now. It's going to come world stage and, and you're going to hear a lot more about it. But uh, check out the um website so that you can maybe have an individual retreat or a personal retreat or contact Jeannie for sessions. She's offering our audience today free coaching session, 30-minute free coaching session. Um, and in the subject line, uh, Jeannie, why don't you tell us exactly what it is that you're offering and tell our listeners how to get it. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I'm I will, you know, really happy to be on Cornelius' show. And so I um, just said, you know, I'm going to open up and I don't usually do 10, but I, I, you know, just wanted to open this up for your audience and to support you as well and, and our connection and everything that we're doing here and your listeners. Um, I think you're doing a great service to your listeners by sharing all this information. And even though they may not be here on Kauai with us, you know, we can send them that energy and that vibration and they can feel that. And maybe if we have time at the end, we can do a little um, dolphin connection for your group. But um, what I'm offering is um, a 30 minute um, kind of breakthrough session that, you know, whatever, you know, we can only deal with one thing in that amount of time. So if there's one particular thing you want to work through, we'll uh, do that. And we're going to ask the assistance of the dolphins to clear, cleanse and release and take away um, any residual things that are holding on to your energy and blocking you from attaining what you want in your life. So uh, the dolphins are really great. Um, they're like Reiki on steroids, you know, Reiki times 10. It's the energy, that energy of um, clearing and releasing and pure love. And so you feel that and then you're able to let go. So we, um, it, we always call in the dolphins to assist us and to break through it. And the Lemurian Council also offers their guidance and inspiration. And so I'm offering that. The way you can receive that is to go to info at dolphintouch.org. That's I-N-F-O at D-O-L-P-H-I-N-T-O-U-C-H dot O-R-G. And in the uh, comment section, you can put um, if you want to do Transformation Talk Radio or can Cornelius Show or Heaven on Earth. Heaven on Earth. Heaven on Earth. Okay, let's do that. Heaven on Earth. And there you go. And just um, give me your email and um, phone number and contact info. And if you could give me a little bit about what you'd like to work on during our session. And I'll be tuning in prior to our connection and help you to move through whatever you need to move through in that moment. That's wonderful. So uh, the first 10 callers, you're giving away 10 uh, 30-minute coaching sessions, supporting healing sessions, supporting anyone that needs to, uh, whatever it is that they, uh, any type of blockage. The first 10 yeah, that, people. That that's a $150 service. Normally I do $300 for the hour and I usually take an hour. We're going to do a little kind of taste test. So yeah, it's like they're, we're offering that for free for your group. Yay. Yay. And it's Yay. interesting, uh, Jeannie, being in your energy, you know, like when we were um, that day when we were on the mountain and uh, we were doing the ceremony and I, I came up to you and just um, telling you, you know, how much I love you. And, and really, um, uh -huh. I, I had just met you uh, like uh, a few days before. It's right. just the love, the love, the love that you hold and the love that you share and the love that you are is, is just emanating out of you. And it was, it was just an incredible uh, feeling. And isn't that what we all want to be able to say, I love you 
to each other all the time, openly sharing our hearts, openly walking up and to our brothers and sisters, being able to say, Hey, I love you. You, you know, you rock, you're amazing. Um, you know, uh, that's, that's part of the new frequency. That's part of what it is that we're doing. And I appreciate so much, uh, that day, that day was incredible when we, uh, ceremony and and your husband was there and supporting um supporting you and supporting our tribe and our group and thank you so much for that that was incredible oh that was beautiful and thank you i mean you you know for you to have the courage to say that i felt it immediately as soon as i met you like soul sister where have you been (laughs) yeah yeah and then we uh connect with each other and yeah you you know it as soon as you meet people you know as soon as people walk in the door We know it. And actually, yeah, we have uh, two selenite crystals and a couple of crystals by the entrance. And it's funny how some people can't even walk through the door. They'll come up and maybe turn away. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that they're they're the the energy they're not ready for. But it's it's uh, those who walk through and know what they're what that energy is and recognizing it in each other. I mean, basically, we're just mirrors, right, reflecting back to one another the love that we are. So. And it was nice for you to acknowledge that and to say that. And um, I felt it as well. And we had an amazing day that day. We walked through the labyrinth and we did Ho'oponopono, uh, which is a release and um, a forgiveness prayer. And it was in the water and everything. And then we went snorkeling and we had, well, you went, had another adventure. We had, <laughs> we went snorkeling and had our adventure. And it was, it was just a magical day. All of us just really fun. And you know what was so great is because a part of the other thing that was so great, and I remember your husband that day, he was uh, so happy because that was the first day the sun had come back. Yes. That was the first day the sun had come back. And that that was a huge celebration for us. And I think that we all uh, looked in the mirror that day and saw our inner sun shining out Mm. and our inner sun coming back and then the Kauai reflected the sun to us and it was just it was a magnificent uh day of uh joy and magic you know just kept on unfolding rainbows and uh amazingness so we're we're gonna take a quick break you're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show I'm with my very special guest Jeannie Russell and we'll be right back Hello, my name is Charlene Hess, and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her Uh, one-on-one for many years now and even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth after working with her for many years I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach uh, coaching program and it has absolutely been an amazing process I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to 
approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. We're talking about the amazing dolphins today. Jeannie, tell us about your beloved companions. Tell us a little bit more about that juicy, yes. loving, loving energy. Yeah, well, um, the dolphins, like you had said in your beautiful intro, have been very special to me. Um, at first, I had thought about being an activist. I didn't like the dolphins getting caught in tuna nets, and that really spoke to me, and I wanted to save the dolphins. And I was ready to, you know, be gung-ho and let's get out there and protest. And and uh, then I went into meditation. I started, I started doing meditation. And in meditation, the dolphins had said to me, we're not the ones that need saving. We're here to save you. <laughs> and uh, I was like, wait a minute, what? That, wait, I didn't expect that. It like, really threw me off. And... Uh, I was uh, like totally uh, dumbfounded and um, as I meditated with them more and they started connecting and, and sharing with me, I said, yeah, we're, we have been placed on this planet to help you uh, to ascend and to, to go to higher levels of consciousness. And I was like, wait a minute, I, you know, I was already ready to save the dolphins and you're telling me you're here to save it. So it was a very humbling experience. Um, needless to say, and uh, it opened up my perspective on what the dolphins are here to do and why, you know, I already, like you had mentioned, been interested because they had a very large brain compared to ours, you know, it was like, how, wait, I, I know a dog's brain is this, you know, and, and so I knew something was going on in that brain of theirs, and um, when that Med when I went into meditation, I started connecting with that. Um, then they started really speaking to me and really opening up and sharing, teaching me about breath work, uh, teaching me about um, letting go, like, you know, how, how water falls off the, this, like, you know, how not to hold on to things. And um, a, lot of, a, a lot of my lessons came through the dolphins on my personal life and my, you know, working life and my family life, everything. Um, we call it the dolphin pod. You know, we have a pod that we <laughs> created at Dolphin Touch Wellness Center. And that's our pod of people that are connected to the center, that work through the center and amazing people like your friend, Larry, who introduced us. And there are many pod members and we're all part of this um, network and group of people that are um, helping and supporting one another. So. The dolphins have taught me a lot, a lot of things through that, through meditation initially, and then I, I just started connecting with them more and sharing more. And every time something would happen, it would be another message and teaching that I would receive from them. So, um, so you do, you know, healing work. People can come to you. Uh, you you do work with people uh, via Skype, energetic work uh, on the phone. Um, you do uh, healing ceremonies on, on the island, connecting with the dolphins. And you people can come to your wellness center. They can lay on the table and receive a healing session from you as you channel and tune in to connect them to the dolphins. Um, do you also go and see the dolphins in the physical? Do you also have dolphin um, uh, excursions? Uh, seeing, pe seeing the dolphins in the physical, do you also do that? Yeah, well, seeing the dolphins in the physical is always an amazing, loving, fun experience. Um, we take you out on the boat, and they, um, from the boat, can see the dolphins, and um, they always come right up to the boat, and they, I mean, basically, you could reach your hand out and touch them, and, and uh, the nice thing about being on the boat, as opposed to being in the water, sometimes we're in, you, when you're in the water, you don't even you may not even be aware the dolphins are around you. I mean, because they're so fast and they're under the water. And so it's nice when you're on the boat, you can see, and it always happens when we're on the boat, that we'll see 
dolphins, whales, turtles, um, and then all species of, you know, there's spinner dolphins, there's bottlenose dolphins. It, it, you know, they always seem to come out and play when they know we're, we're out there. And they show up and um, it's, it's such a heart opening experience. But it's more than just being in the water or connecting with the dolphins on the physical. They want to now connect with us on the fifth dimensional and seven to higher dimensional levels. They, they want us to access that information so that we could be anywhere. We could be in Arizona. We could be in the Sahara Desert, anywhere in the world, and we can connect with the dolphins. You don't have to all fly to Kauai and you know do that. It's it's about connecting with that vibrational energy that they're here to share. And that's that's exactly what you're sharing with us today is that um, you know that you're connecting people with the dolphin energy and that they don't have to necessarily come to Kauai to, to meet a dolphin in the physical that they can actually uh, embody the dolphin energetics through uh, working with the dolphins energetically is that right yes absolutely and and they're there for everyone to access you know and it's all about intention and they may show up uh, you'll see synchronicities where they may show up in your dreams uh they may show up you know you'll see a a, a, a sign with a dolphin on it or you'll see a statue or you'll see something and it's like oh they're you know and, and for me, it's always a signpost. Like even when we were looking for a house and there was a, a dolphin on the door, I was like, okay, this is, this is where we need to go. This place is showing up. Or And no matter where we go shopping or anywhere else, if I, I'll see a dolphin somewhere. I'll, I'll always find dolphins. Maybe there's a little sticker with a dolphin on it or something, you know, and, and they, did, they just pop up all over the place. Yeah. They're very uh, playful. <laughs> yeah, they're playful, they're fun, and that's part of the uh, fifth yeah. and seventh dimensional way of living and being is um, embodying yeah. that energy of playfulness. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree? Right. It's also it's that fun. And Absolutely, that's yeah. We need to do the, the need playful. To the playful energy is lighter, and um, it's what it what brings you. Uh, what it's what opens your heart, and it's us getting back to the inner child, the divine inner child within us, and connecting and allowing that child to play, allowing that child to have fun, allowing that child to be free, uh, uninhibited, unworried uh, about you know thinking this, thinking that, with all the fears that you know the adult uh, come in and worry about. No, we're we're that child, that innocent child that's playing and. That, that's tantric, that's joyful, that's happy, and we're just enjoying life, and we're um, embodying that and embracing that and allowing that energy to come through and that to be our normal. That's our new normal. That's going to be that's our, our new normal. Right? Exactly. That's our new normal. Yes. I love that. Because like you said earlier, um, you know, with the balancing of the masculine and feminine, really moving into that balanced state, and now we're giving birth again, uh, to that playful inner child, allowing that inner child to come out and play and to to trust life, just like like we do when we're when we're children. When we're children, when when we we don't worry about things, we're in the flow. When when we fall down and scrape our knee, it's no big deal. We cry and wipe it off, and we get on with things. And um, we're not we're not worried about. We're so living in the present moment. We're so living in the flow. Right. Like on vacation, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, we were talking about that earlier. It's like, yeah, you don't, you know, you fall down, you throw a little fit, you kick your feet, you know, and you cry, and they're like, okay, all right, you got it out of your system. Now, now let's hug and you know get over it. You know, if we're angry or do some, we're holding on to something. It's like, yeah, you know, it's just like, why? You know, the the only thing that stops us from feeling the love between each other is, you know, the mind will like. Oh, but he's, you know, he's trying to manipulate you or he's trying to control you or he's trying to get something from you or whatever. And it's like, you know, can we just let all that go and get back to the love that we are and connect with our the loving energy that we have? And the more we project that, the more we're getting back that, you know, it's that energy. Of, you know, we know about law of attraction now through Esther Hicks and a lot of other people that, you know, and that's kind of out there. And 
take that to the next level is the more we send out love and we expect love and we anticipate love and we offer love, the more love is going to come back to us. The more we send out fear, the more we send out worry, the more we send out any of those negative emotions, that's what's coming back to us. So it's just embodying that love and getting back to the love. And yeah, let's just, and then that's what the dolphins, like I said, they, when they have that wet body, you know, it just like rolls off their back, you know, something happens. Okay. You know, just shake it off, shake it out, shake it out and move it on. Do you want to see the next thing? Absolutely. You know, one of the things um, that you and I talked about, we just have a a few uh, short minutes before we go to break, but uh, I I talked to you about are the dolphins, you know, because we're evolving. There's many, many things we're ascending and there's much shift and and, uh, consciousness and everything's changing. Everything is changing. And so I was asking you, um, are the dolphins leaving leaving this sphere? Are they leaving? Are they leaving our new paradigm? And uh, your answer was, well, yeah. I mean, there's their their purpose here is shifting. That's for sure. I mean, uh, once we move more into ascension, you know, they're they're not needed as much to hold that vibration because they're basically passing the baton to us. And they're like, okay, we've been holding this vibration and love and light long enough. Now you guys hold the hold that energy. And um, so as that shifts and we're now holding that vibration of love and light and we're embodying that more, they may choose to leave, you know, but their purpose here will be shifting. And there may be those that choose to um, ascend and move on to other realms and other dimensions and do work elsewhere. Uh, And then there may be those who choose to stay. So we don't know. Patricia Corey wrote a book, Before We Leave You, and um, she also talks about, you know, how dolphins will be shifting and leaving the planet, and perhaps that that is happening. I I don't see a full transition where we won't be seeing them at all in the physical, but, you know, it, it, it... it's all about just embracing the now, and we do have them now, and we're connecting with them, and what's to come who knows and we'll we'll just put it out there that they'll want to stay and play with us or maybe we'll go to other dimensions and go play with them in other dimensions like that i love that we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back on the cornelia stephanie show awesome hi i'm tom embrace and i'm here to tell you of my latest book the magic of finding love and peace what's it all about well and you imagine you're driving home like I did 17 years ago in my Jeep when an angel comes into my Jeep and tells me what to do. I did it and it saved my life because a terrible accident ensued seconds later. My life changed dramatically since that day, full of spiritual experiences. I have documented those spiritual experiences in this book so that you can relive them yourself. Perhaps you're going through your own spiritual transformation. If there's any doubt in your mind that there are angels or messages you might get from clouds or that you are a spiritual being as well as a human being, you must buy this book. This book is full of photographs, 375 color photographs, over 278 pages. Of those, 155 uh, photographs are of clouds, clouds that will knock your socks off. So, how do you buy this book? Well, go to my website, www.whenangelstouch.com, whenangelstouch.com, and on the home page, you'll see the, the photograph of the book, and it just says, buy it. So please buy it, it's $25. It's a good bargain for it, what you're getting. And if you need to contact me by email, tom at whenangelstouch.com, and you can see me on Facebook every day at When Angels Touch Facebook. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I'm with Jeannie Russell. And Jeannie has been sharing her dolphin energetics and her dolphin magic with us today. Jeannie, tell everyone how they can get your info again and how they can receive your free gift that you're so generously offering everyone today 
Yeah, I'm offering a free breakthrough session. It's a 30 minute breakthrough session. Normally it's $150 and you're getting it free only to the 10 first 10 people. And the way you get it is uh, email me at info at dolphintouch.org. That's I-N-F-O at D-O-L-P-H-I-N-T-O-U-C-H dot O-R-G. And in the subject line, put heaven on earth. And yet those are only for the first 10. And that's for Cornelius Group. And uh, I also wanted to share my son's Instagram. I have an Instagram, too, if you guys are on Instagram. It's Dolphin yeah, Genius. Share that. share that. Okay. And um, my son's is sculpture underscore odyssey. And you can see his um, sculpture. But if you do that on YouTube, you'll see the video of his YouTube channel of him doing his sculpture and his art. And my daughter's a um, model, and she's also Aloha Alexandria. She's doing some beautiful modeling pictures here on Kauai. And that's uh, And my website is uh, www.dolphintouch.org. So come on down, and we're on Kauai, you Hawaii. You have another website. You also have another one. I do have another website, yourpathwaytojoy.com. That's my coaching site um and if you want to learn more about that you can go on that site and read all about that and yeah a lot of information a lot of fun stuff about Kauai, about the dolphins you know we, we share a lot and you can find us on facebook too when i came to the center i you know i went upstairs and um uh, I found this card well it's also down down below and it's the heaven on earth fair that uh card that you have heaven on earth health fair yeah we can't see it right I oh can you it's, see it now we go. no a little higher a little higher can you see there it now it says heaven on earth right <laughs> heaven on earth. and and here you are Jeannie, on the heaven on earth uh radio I know, isn't that divine it, it, this is all part of the magic that's unfolding it's all part of the dolphin energy it's all part of the joy it's all part of the the synchronistic uh unification happening yeah it was so many of us that are being called to work together now and to come together because we're not meant to do it alone. We're here to build the new earth, to build the new earth, to build the new paradigm and to do it with an open heart, living in the flow, in joy, in balance. And yeah. what all the amazing uh, people, um, the healers and um, that have embraced their gifts and that are so ready to share their gifts with you all because no matter what it is that you're experiencing you no matter what it is that you're going through it's it's an opportunity for you to release something out of your life that's no longer serving you so that you can step into the truth of who you are and the truth of who you are is an absolutely magnificent amazing being and so Jeannie you're going to um, do a little uh, mini activation for yeah. Yeah, we were going to open it up to if anybody uh, wants to comment, if they have some uh, something specific they want um, to work on or a question, I guess we can also do that, right? And um, I guess we'll be led, well, someone, some voice in the distance will tell us if there's a, <laughs> yeah. a message. But um, for those of you um, just listening, tuning in um what i'd like you to do if you, hopefully you're, if you're driving keep driving keep your eyes on the road but if you're um able to sit and close your eyes um you're just gonna take a big breath so breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth breathing in hold it for a few seconds and then exhale through the mouth and again, breathing in through the nose, holding for a few seconds, and then exhaling. And one more time, breathing in through the nose, holding for a few seconds, and then exhaling. So we're going to ask the dolphins to join us. So we're going to call in the dolphin energy calling in Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. Vacuum out all negativity, pain and fear 
disconnect any cords of fear attachment and surround us in a mist of pink and green healing and loving energy. We ask all those from the other side that wish to assist us, all the angels, the archangels, the myrrh angels, especially we call in the dolphins, the whales, the monk seals, and the turtles. We thank you for this opportunity to connect with each other and to connect to source. Namaste. All right, so just kind of breathe in. And we're just going to create a little energy at the bottom of your feet, moving up. This vortex of energy is circulating, creating a spiral at the bottom of your feet, spiraling around and around and around, moving up and up and up, up to your legs, up to your knees, releasing, surrounding, releasing and surrounding, opening, 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 moving up to your thighs, up to your hips. Releasing, releasing any tension, anything that no longer serves, any heaviness, any dark spots, just let it all drop away, fall away. It's all release, 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 let that go. And now at the root chakra, at the base of your spine, we're going to just connect you to source, connect you to the center of the earth. So putting that cord down through your legs, down to the center of the earth and anchoring you in. And then allowing that energy to be syringed or pulled upward through the bottom of your feet, up your leg, your knee, up to the root chakra, the base of the spine, and allowing that energy to open up and flow. And we're going to keep that energy going. And then as that's continuing to grow and continuing to ground you in, keeping you grounded, because heaven on earth is about us embracing this grounded energy, grounding into the physical, into our bodies, and yet still being God realized in this reality. So allowing that to open up, and now we bring the dolphins back, swirling around, moving up your torso, going to the sacral chakra going to the solar plexus with your stomach going to your heart your low heart your high heart creating a figure eight in your heart chakra going from right to left opening 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 clearing 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 releasing 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 allowing that to open and expand open and expand Moving up to your throat chakra as the dolphins swim forward and back, left and right, up and down, clearing, cleansing, and releasing, opening your throat chakra. And now this energy is swirling upward to the, your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. As the dolphins swim in and out of your third eye, allowing you to see past, present, and future, allowing you to see infinite possibilities and opening up to new guidance, new understanding, new knowledge. And now the dolphins are swimming out through the top of your head, through your crown, swimming forward and back, left and right, up and down, opening, expanding, opening, and allowing that energy to evenly throw, flow through you. And now we're going to reach out all the way far across galaxies, across all the way to the central sun, Wrapping that energy around the central sun and bringing that energy back. Down through your heart and connecting your base chakra with your heart. And we're going to connect in the heart energy and then send that out in a 360 degree direction. All around. Sending out love and light. Dolphin vibrational energy. Jeannie, Namaste. thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful anchoring and grounding in. Thank you for the wonderful uh, communication, the wonderful meditation. I, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure thank to be you. with you. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Much love to you. Namaste. Aloha and mahalo. Namaste.